Kelsey and Kendra. So today we're going to be filming a Sephora haul today for you guys. It's going to be a pretty big one because Kelsey and I each got a lot of stuff. And some of this stuff is from the VIB sale which started yesterday and I think it ends on the 10th. If you are a VIB Rouge, you can go, you know, get some goodies for a discount, 20% off. And also some of this stuff is before the VIB sale because I was so mad after we bought some stuff. And I ended up getting the email like two days after we went to Sephora. Yeah. But um, yeah, I was kind of upset about it. But thank God we wanted to get a few more things. So we went back and got like a few more goodies to get our discount. And obviously we did some early birthday shopping because if you guys don't know, our birthday is Saturday, November 8th. And yeah, what better excuse to spend money than for your birthday? <laughs> So we got a little bit of everything, but of course we're just gonna go ahead and start with makeup because that's what we got the most of. Uh -huh. So first I'm just gonna start out with some lipsticks. I'm just gonna go ahead and mention all of mine. Um, all of these are by NARS and the first two I'm gonna mention are the new NARS Audacious Lipsticks. I think I said that right. And I just got two shades just because I want to see how I like the formula and stuff first. And the two shades that I got are in Jane and Audrey. And Jane is what I'm wearing on my lips right now. It's just a very pretty orange nude color um i didn't realize it was this orange until i put it on and of course you guys have seen this lipstick and the amazing packaging it's like magnetic and it's like so cute um but this is the color it's just like an orange shade it looks like this i'm obsessed with it the formula of these are amazing they're like so buttery and creamy they don't dry out your lips but they're not too glossy either so i really like that and they're super pigmented like when i started putting it on i was like Oh, this is very pigmented. So I'm really pleased with the formulation and the pigmentation of these lipsticks. Now I see why they're so expensive, but they're obviously not the most expensive of high-end lipsticks. Not like a Tom Ford lipstick or anything like that. Mm -hmm. So I actually think the price is pretty good for the quality. Yeah, it's reasonable for how good it is. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, the next color is Audrey. And this is like a very pretty like rose pink color. Yeah, this is kind of like a rose. Yeah, yeah, this is like a rose color. It, um, online, it described it as like some kind of red, but it doesn't really look red to me. It's like a rose and a mauve mixed, mixed together. together. I agree. Um, I haven't used this one yet, but I really, really love the color. I swatched it in the store and fell in love with it. So this was the first color that I picked up. Um, I just really like the color. It's like a really good color for every day for fall because it's like on the darker side. So I just thought that this would be really pretty with my skin tone. Okay, and the last lip product that I got from NARS is just one of their regular lipsticks. And this is just, yeah, just the NARS lipsticks. So it's the normal line. And I got this in the color Scarlet Impress. So these are a lot smaller than the Audacious lipsticks. Um, this formulation of the regular line, some of them are like too sheer to me. Mm -hmm. Like you can't really see it's the like color. like a hit or miss. Yeah, yeah, some of the colors are really pigmented, but some of them are like sheer. This looks like a chapstick. Yeah. But this color is so pigmented, it's so gorgeous. It's like a like light purple. So pretty. Like a light, like a dark violet slash light purple. Mm -hmm. So in between that, if you understand what I'm saying. But I just really like how this color looks. It's so, oh, so pretty. Like vampy, like a deep, deep wine color. Yeah, it's like a wine color. Yeah, yeah. Like a red wine color. Or grape, yeah, grape juice. Um, So this one is super pigmented. So I really got lucky when I picked this one up because I was obsessed with the color. And I was like, I really hope this one's pigmented. And it was, so I just really like this color, so. Okay, so I got four lip products. And first I'm gonna mention the lipsticks that I got. The first lipstick that I came across, what I've been wanting for a while, is one of the Kat Von D studded lipsticks. And I got the color Cathedral. And Kelsey obviously bought one before I did. She has the homegirl color. And every time we went to Sephora, they were always out of Lolita and Cathedral. And I'm like, I need Cathedral in my life because I always swatch it and they never have it in stock. So this time when they had it, I had to pick it up. And it's just like the perfect like nude mauve color i don't even know it's just like one of those your lips with a better color and it's like the color you want to throw on when you don't know what else to wear i tend to gravitate towards these colors a lot because it's like the simple everyday it looks good on my skin tone and it's just a gorgeous gorgeous color and these are really really pigmented this is a nice formula this is a matte color but it's still moisturizing at the same time which is what i love about kat von d studded kiss lipsticks i love the formulation and the color is amazing so cathedral by Kat Von D. And the next lipstick color I got was a NARS Audacious lipstick as well. And for some reason, I wasn't like, I don't want to get too many colors because I had already bought other neutral lipsticks. And I'm like, Kendra, you don't need no more neutral lipsticks. So I was thinking that I didn't have a whole lot of vampy colors because Kelsey tends to have a lot more vampy lipsticks than I do. And I'm like, Kendra, you need another vampy color. 
And when I saw this, y'all, this is in the color Live and it's like a really dark, vampy, kind of like the NARS lipstick Kelsey just had, but it's mm -hmm. a tad bit darker and it's more on like the cool side. It kind of reminds me of Cyber by MAC if you've got if you guys have ever seen that color. So it's like a super, super dark, vampy color and obviously these are super pigmented and i just can't wait to wear this color because it's not like diva which is my favorite like fall winter dark lipstick so this isn't like anything that i own and i'm just so happy that this was my first audacious lipstick from the nars line so yes i'm obsessed with this color and this is live the next lipstick i got is my first bobby brown lipstick purchase and i wasn't really into i'm not really into bobby brown like the brand i don't really hear too many things about it besides like the shimmer bricks but when i saw this color i just had to have it like i swatched it on my hand and it was just like that color that called my name it just had me written all over it and this is in the color raisin and i know y'all like that looks kind of like cathedral but this is like a little bit darker than cathedral yeah. it's it like, like it had more rose in it yeah it has more rose in it and it's like a richer um color it's like a richer mauve like rosy color and it's like raisin i don't know i guess raisin is a good name for it but it's just like the perfect new dark neutral color kind of like kelsey show like her audrey color this would be like my go-to color like that mm -hmm. so i'm obsessed with the formulation for these so if you guys haven't tried bobby brown before like any of the lipsticks i think this would be a good first lipstick to try from them so raisin this is like a beautiful beautiful shade and yes i can't wait to wear it and y'all know i love like this shade of lipsticks because I'm gonna wear them all the time so the last lip product that I got is from NARS this is a lip gloss and I've never tried any of the NARS lip glosses before um, I think this is just their regular line so I really wasn't impressed by any of the other colors except for this one and this is in the shade Dolce Vita and I have the lipstick it. from the actual lip the original NARS lipstick line but the lip gloss is so so much better y'all like this lip gloss is amazing. This is the best shade of lip gloss in the original NARS lip gloss collection. It's just so, so pretty. It's like, it kind of reminds me like a tad bit lighter than the Lolita shade from Kat Von D. Mm -hmm. It's just gorgeous and it's super, super pigmented. Like when I tell you this color is pigmented, like I just yeah. assumed it would be sheer because some of their lip glosses are on the sheer side. It has a little bit of color, but not a whole lot of mm -hmm. pigmentation but this y'all because i have enough lip glosses we all know this but i just had to have this lip color if you're looking for a lip gloss from nars get dolce vita because it's a gorgeous color okay so the last lip uh, item that both of us got is the agave bite beauty lip, lip mask. mask kendra has used this before but this is my first time purchasing this um i used to always use hers mm -hmm. so now i have my own now yeah. i really love this stuff mm -hmm. i love the taste i love the smell yes it's just amazing it's super super thick yes for warning just in case you yes. want to purchase this it's perfect for nighttime like before you go to sleep. yeah uh -huh. not during the day use no. no unless your lips are just going through a crisis for real i'm excited to finally have my own so yeah and i just got a re-up of mine i just needed a new one because y'all saw my other one was beat up it looked a hot mess and yeah i just needed a backup because i love it that much and okay, the next thing that i got is another one of my makeup forever dual matte powders y'all know this is my holy grail powder and the one i got is almost gone which is the first one i ever bought so it's lasted me a very very long time surprisingly mm -hmm. because that's like the only powder i've been using for like months and months and months so i love this powder so much so just got another one of these okay, so the next product i got is from becca this is the ever matte poreless priming perfector and i've been wanting to try a new primer because i'm almost out of my tart one um, i really love that one but i really wanted to try a new one and i heard good things about this one and it's really really good for oily skin i saw i read the reviews online and I hope I like it, but I have a feeling it's going to be similar to my number seven beautifully matte, like the makeup base primer thing, because the bottle is like the same shape and it has like the same consistency to me. It's like a white, like cream kind of thing, but it's a little bit more, um, well, maybe not. It's more sticky, but it's, it's still like a white cream, but I'll just have to try it out and let you guys know how I like it, but I'm really excited to try it because I love like applying primers before my foundation that's the only way i apply foundation i can't not use a primer so i'm really excited to try this so yeah the next thing i got is the kat von d tattoo concealer the locket tattoo concealer i've been wanting to try this for a very long time because i've heard great things about this concealer um it's actually kind of old like it's been around for a very long time, long time. i think she's was actually known before her concealer concealers before yeah. like anything else uh -huh. so i'm excited to try this i got the color deep 36 
I really thought this color would be perfect for like, you know, my highlight and stuff because I wanted to kind of match it to my LA Girl HD Pro Concealer that I've been loving and I use to like conceal and highlight. So I thought this would be like the perfect fit for me. So I'm just like excited to try this. I heard this is some heavy duty concealer, so mm -hmm. we shall see. Okay, so the next product I got is a highlighter and y'all, when I tell you this is sent from heaven, it's like, it's official. This is probably going to be one of my holy grail products. This is the Bobbi Brown Highlight Powder and this is in the color Bronze Glow. Y'all, this stuff, it's, it's just life. It's amazing. It's got like up there with my to um, Topaz from Becca highlighter. If you guys don't really like any of the Becca highlighters or if you don't want to buy any of them, get this. And it's limited edition, so I need, I'm need i telling you to get it right now. So after you watch this video, order it online, go to the store and get it, do what you got to do because it's amazing and it's just like the most gorgeous highlight. It's like a champagne bronzy color and Kelsey and I are both wearing it today mm. and y'all it's life. It's just like the perfect like dewy highlight. It doesn't yeah. look like glitter mm -hmm. on your face. It's just like a nice sheen of like, it's like the wet look, but in a mm -hmm. powder form. Yeah. So it looks like you use like a liquid highlighter, mm -hmm. but it's just this. I put nothing else on and it's so pigmented and the color is just amazing. Just go get it, please. I'm begging you. <laughs> okay, because... It's just the most gorgeous highlighter. And I was going back and forth with wanting to get it because I had never purchased a Bobbi Brown like product ever besides their lipstick. But I heard good things about their highlighters, but I never wanted to try the shimmer bricks because they didn't look right for my skin tone. And when I saw this, it just looked perfect for me. But I feel like this highlighter is universal to all skin tones, not just one, because some of the shimmer bricks from Bobbi Brown, I don't feel like will look right on me personally, but this looks good on anybody. So it's just like the best, highlighter that I've seen in a long long time. So the Bobbi Brown highlight powder in bronze glow. Okay the next thing um, we both actually got this mm -hmm. is a NARS product so back to NARS. This is a blush in the color seduction and it just looks like this. It's like a very plum. like warm plum color. Mm -hmm. It's like the perfect fall blush in my yes, opinion. It so is. And it's matte too. Yeah it's not shimmer so it is matte. Mm -hmm. um, I feel like this will look good on any skin tone, but if you're a little lighter, you might want to go like lighter on the hand with this because mm -hmm. it's like darker, obviously. Yes. So, but I do think it's like perfect for my darker skin girls. Yes. It's like, it's like life. You need this blush. It's like the perfect, like everyday kind of blush, especially if you don't like shimmer or mm -hmm. anything like that in your blushes. And if you're looking for like just a plain matte blush, mm -hmm. that's like the perfect shade, get this. Yeah. So if you're not into any of those pinks or peaches, mm -hmm. this is the color for you because mm -hmm. it's just like so pretty. It's gorgeous. And on the website, it's described as a sangria color. Mm -hmm. So it's just like the perfect plummy sangria shade. It's just gorgeous. And I think this is going to be up there with my um, Love Thing blush from MAC. Mac it's yeah. going to be up there with that. Yeah, so. it's kind of like that, but no same. shimmer. Right. Yeah, I agree. Yeah. Okay, so also the next thing we got is the same product as well. But mm -hmm. this is something we've been wanting to try for, for like long time. centuries. And everyone and their mama got this foundation. Yes. All of you guys have been telling us, you guys need to go try this foundation. So, mm -hmm. And I actually posted a picture of this foundation on Instagram. And basically the entire comment section, <laughs> everybody said, you need it in your life. OMG is my holy grail foundation. Mm -hmm. I'm obsessed with it. And everybody that I know who uses it, it looks amazing on them. Yeah. So we got the Estee Lauder Double, Double Wear Foundation. foundation. It's, it happened. I'm in love. <laughs> I threw my box away because I was just too excited. I couldn't even think straight. <laughs> so I just threw my box away. This is actually my third time using it. Uh, we're both wearing it right now. And I heard a lot of good things about this in particular for oily skin. Like if you mm -hmm. have oily skin and you like that flawless look of a foundation. It says double wear. So it's like amazing, amazing coverage when yeah. I tell y'all. Mm -hmm. But it's not like a thick consistency. Yeah, it's like right in the middle. It's not too watery mm -hmm. and it's not too thick. Because that's yes. the one thing about the Kat Von D tattoo foundation. It's, it's super thick. It gives amazing coverage, but it's like way too thick. And my Makeup Forever HD foundation is amazing, but sometimes it's kind of watery. I feel like this is like the perfect right in balance. Between. Yeah. It's like perfect formulation. Yes. And we're in the color Rich Cocoa, so I really like this color. It blends out beautifully. Yes. Um, so my girl Nitra was right. This is my main chick now. Yes, it's amazing. <laughs> so moving on to like 
eye stuff, like eye, eye shadows and stuff. And I got some of the Makeup Forever Artist Shadows. I heard a lot of good things about these, but unfortunately they didn't have all the colors I wanted, so I was so annoyed. I was like over there for so long looking for all the colors I wanted, but I only found three. So I got like the three like little empty refill pan. Um, you get more off if you buy three in like the palette. You get like $20 off, which is like a whole eyeshadow, so you basically get one for free. So I got three colors. So the first color I got is in the shade I-606 and these are, they're like initial by uh, finish I think. So the I means iridescent. This color is so, so gorgeous. This is like the perfect like brownie bronze, but it has a tad bit of like a reddish coppery undertone to it. Mm -hmm. So I think I'm gonna wear this Saturday when we go out to dinner for our birthday. And I just think it's gonna be so, so pretty. Like you can do like the perfect brown smoky eye with this, like bronze smoky eye. So I'm super excited to try this color. And these are really big too. These are like way bigger than my MAC eyeshadow. So you get a lot for your money. So these are well worth it. Okay, so the next shade I got is a matte shade and this is in the color M630. So obviously M stands for matte and I was really mad because I didn't find any other matte shades that I really, really wanted. And Kelsey saw me, yeah. I was looking at like this reddish brown brown color that looked like kind of like cocoa bear and brown script mm -hmm. had a baby <laughs> i wanted it so bad so i'm gonna have to you know get it when i see it but this color kelsey said it looked kind of looked like soft brown which is what she has for mac i don't mm -hmm. own soft brown it's so, just a little cooler so i just thought it was the perfect opportunity for me to get a color like this and i thought it'd be like a pretty blending shade to go with that brown bronze color mm -hmm. so it's really really pretty and i thought it was like an essential color to have so the last shade that I got is another matte shade and it's in the color M510 and it's just like a pretty vanilla shade. And I think that's the name of the color online because they have it numbered and they have like a little name on online. But it's like a perfect vanilla shade, like a nice matte brow bone color or you can use it on your lid if you want to do like a nice matte look but i feel like it's another essential color so i wanted to be smart about the colors that i purchased i didn't want to go too crazy with the colors yeah it kind of looks like rice paper by mac so i just felt like it was like an essential color to have so this is what my first makeup forever artist shadow palette looks like and i'm super excited and i want others um i hope this doesn't become an addiction because these are like so pigmented like when i tell y'all they're like amazing like oh i cannot wait to use these like these are so so gorgeous and they're so big so if yeah. you're like contemplating getting them just go find like at least three shades that you like and at least have one of these on hand because this is good for travel as well if you get like three colors that you wear like every day this is good for travel too so okay so the um, last makeup item that i got is a eyeshadow palette i got the vice 2 palette i have been eyeing this palette for a very long time and I was like should I get this palette because it's $60 and I don't know if I want to pay that but I was like it has a lot of pretty colors in it and like every time we went to Sephora as Kendra I kept walking by the she'll palette. walk by and be like it's so pretty and then she'll walk by again <laughs> I'm like Kelsey either you're gonna get the palette or you're not gonna get it so I finally was like this is the perfect opportunity for me to get this palette because I get 20% off uh -huh. so I got the palette and the colors in this palette are absolutely gorgeous it just comes in this like little pouch thing that pretty much looks exactly like the box and this is what the packaging looks like I'm sorry I don't want to blind y'all it looks like this and it just says vice on it in lime green letters which I know is my favorite color this is exactly my favorite color actually like this exact lime green so the packaging just screamed my name it's so gorgeous but the colors are even more beautiful and i don't want to blind y'all because the mirror in this is so big so i am going to do a close-up of how these colors look so pretty but they are just oh they're so gorgeous like i see like at least about five makeup tutorials i can do with yes, this look already so that's another reason i like to buy palettes it's because i get inspiration for tutorials i want to do mm -hmm. for you guys like different tutorials um so they're not all looking like the same thing even though they're usually different but some people just if it looks the same they think it's the exact same even though you use different, different colors stuff, yeah but um this is automatically going to give you so many different looks which is why i was so excited to get this palette like every time i went in i just kept swatching them and they like swatched so beautifully and true to color so i was just like kelsey get this palette so i love this palette already and i haven't even used it yet so get excited for some makeup tutorials with this palette because i'm too ready
So the last eye product I got was a eyeliner and this is the Urban Decay 24 seven glide on pencil and it's waterproof. So that's even better for me. Um, this is in the color perversion and this is super, super duper black. Like when I say it's like the darkest, blackest of the blackest eyeliners that I've ever owned. Yeah. It's so pigmented. Like, oh my gosh. Like that was just like a little baby glide. It's just like so pigmented and like when you let it like wait and let it dry for like 10 seconds it doesn't go anywhere mm -hmm. like i swatched it in the store and obviously i had already put it in my little basket and we was walking around and i was trying to like get the swatches off my hand and this is the only thing that would not come off so when i tell y'all this stuff is super super like long wearing if you're looking for a high-end eyeliner that's gonna wear all day get the perversion from urban decay because it's amazing and you will not regret it and I think I like this one a little bit better than my NARS one because I love my NARS eyeliner, but I really like this a lot. Okay, next moving on to a few skincare products that we got. Um, I only got three. So I'm just gonna go ahead and grab this first one, which is um, this Philosophy Take a Deep Breath moisturizer. And I have been looking for a really good daytime moisturizer because I have been using my Aveeno one, my Clear Complexion Aveeno moisturizer. And I really like that for nighttime, but I really didn't like how it wore under makeup my skin would get oily faster because i'm already an oily beast it works for kendra but it just doesn't work yeah, for me for i like it for daytime for a daytime moisturizer under my makeup so i just wanted something that was still moisturizing but not too heavy, heavy. yeah so uh, i have been hearing a lot of good things about this i read a few reviews on it and then as soon as i walked up to it the lady just started talking to me about it and i was like this lady's gonna make me buy this moisturizer. <laughs> so I ended up buying it. Um, I just really like it already. I've used it um, only once. Um, I used it this morning actually. I, I haven't gotten oily yet, so that's really good. Um, I really like how the formula is of this. It's like the, the gel. perfect combination. They describe it as a gel and a cream. So it's like yeah. perfect. And the smell is like super light. It doesn't really have a strong I smell, smell or anything. It's like, like fresh, like like ocean smell yeah it's not nice. clean yes it's a clean smell very clean smell so i'm actually really excited to continue to um try this i, I just really hope that it works for me so yes yeah, first thing i got so the first skincare product that i got is from origins this is the drink up intensive overnight mask to quench skin's thirst and i figure since we're going into the colder months now like it's already getting cold here i'm gonna need like a nice moisturizing mask but like an overnight sleeping one because I don't know i've always wanted to try like an overnight sleeping mask and i figured this was like the perfect one to get because i read a lot of good reviews on it and it wasn't super super pricey because skincare and sephora can get really expensive mm -hmm. and this smells amazing like it smells like apricots and mangoes like a really fruity smell but really light and i like to put this on like the days where i do like a intense like mask like a treatment mask that like treats blemishes and stuff that has like sulfur and salicylic acid in it like those kind of masks that dry out your skin mm -hmm. so this is good to put on like when you're done with your skincare routine like after you do your regular moisturizer this can be like the last thing you put on and you like sleep with it on and you just rinse your face as usual the next morning uh, like when you get ready to wash your face but this like i used it once and i love it it's just like leaves your skin like really soft and like plump and like nice and moisturized so even though i'm oily i still like to moisturize my skin because everybody needs moisture into their skin it's just healthy and you look nice and glowy and no one wants dry cracked skin so i'm super excited to try this for the cold month so the next thing I got is the Purity Made Simple One Step Facial Cleanser. Um, you guys know that I talk about this in my in our October favorites, and I told y'all I absolutely loved it. It was super lightweight, gentle. It did not irritate my skin. So I was like, okay, I have to get a bigger size of this. This is definitely not the biggest size, but I was just like, okay, I'll just start out with this size. So I really have been loving this cleanser. So yeah, I just got another one of these. So the next product I got is from Algenis. This is the Algenis firming and lifting eye gel and I've never tried anything from Algenis before this is my first Algenis purchase and it's an eye gel like I said and I was running out of my Estee Lauder nighttime like eye gel and I figured it was a good opportunity to go ahead and get a new one and I really wanted to try this one because I really like obviously it's good to use something under your eyes because that's like the mm -hmm. most um 
gen not gentle, but it's like the most. The thinnest part of your skin on your yes, face. Yes, it's the thinnest part of your skin on your face. And this is where you see aging first. So I figured I wanted to try something lifting and firming. And it's also moisturizing and it has aluronic acid in it. And aluronic acid is supposed to be amazing for like um, puffiness, like depuffing, which is all good things for under the eye. So I really wanted to try this. Um, it was kind of pricey, but a little bit is going to go a long way with this stuff, I have a feeling. But look how little the bottle is. It's like a little baby. But one thing I did like about this is that it's a pump because my Estee Lauder one is like a little jar. But I'm just really excited to try this. The last skincare product I got is the Glam Glow Power Mud Dual Cleanse Treatment Mud to Oil Mask. And y'all, I'm obsessed with this mask. First of all, look at the packaging. It's green, but y'all, the smell of this stuff is divine. Me and Kendra smelled this, smelled this. Kendra and I smelled this um, when we went to Sephora looking at all the Glam Glow masks. And I was like, I wonder how the green one smells. It kind of has like a very fruity smell. Mm -hmm. So it says it has like pear or something oh in it. Oh my gosh, it, it does have pear oil in it. And I, yeah, I definitely smell the pear oil, so. Oh my god. That's where the fruity smell is coming from. Like this mask is absolutely amazing. I love it. I used this mask once and I really really liked how it worked. Um, when I rinsed it off my skin just felt smoother. Some of my pimples were a little flatter as well. They weren't as like red and like just nasty looking. So <laughs> this really helped that a lot. And this one is a little different from a regular mud mask because when you put it on it just looks like a regular mask and when you rinse it off it turns into an oil and it does have like little bitty tiny beads as you're rinsing it off but i just really like this mask but when don't get alarmed when it says oil because it really doesn't even feel like an oil on your face to me when i rinsed it off so i just really like this mask so i'm obsessed so while we're on the glam glow topic i actually got the clearing treatment this is like the one of the like I think this is like the most popular one from Glam Glow mm -hmm. because I hear about this all the time and I was going back and forth with whether or not I wanted to buy it because some people were like oh it's okay but some people were like it's amazing I'm like Kendra just try it out for yourself so this is worth the hype I am gonna say mm -hmm. it's worth the hype so you heard it here it's pretty <laughs> amazing Kelsey and I both used it last night and my pimples were like flat when I woke up this morning like they're not like completely gone but they're like it was a drastic difference like in like my skin and like immediately when you rinse it off you feel like you have a new face so I'm pretty obsessed with it it kind of smells like the mask of Magna Minty from um, Lush if you've ever smelled that before a little bit goes a long way and I like to apply it with a brush Kelsey and I both recently discovered that it works well when you apply like a like a flat little brush, kind of like a paint brush kind of thing. I just use an old foundation brush. Obviously, I cleaned it. Just like, this is like going to be my favorite like go-to mask for like when I have like the problem skin like during the time of the month or when my skin is just looking a hot mess. This is going to be great for that. So, I have two more products to talk about. And this one is from Fresh. This is the Black Tea Instant Perfecting Mask. And this is like the most expensive thing that I bought out of this entire haul. And... I read a lot of reviews on this, I will say, before I bought it, so don't think I'm crazy and like, I can't believe you spent that much on that. <laughs> but I really, I've always wanted to try like an anti-aging mask, like on those days when you want to have like a pamper day and, you know, you just want to feel, you know, luxurious and like have that flawless, nice skin. And this has antioxidants in it, which antioxidants are really good for the skin. And it says it immediately reveals softer, firmer skin, which is why I always wanted like an anti-aging mask that's supposed to help firm the skin and just like help preserve your youthful skin, you know? So, and you're only supposed to leave this on for like 10 minutes and you can use it two to three times a week. So it's really gentle. It's not harsh or anything like that. But the smell, y'all, the smell, it, this smell like straight up cucumbers. Like, yeah. and I'm not talking about like the good, like salad cucumbers. I'm talking about <laughs> fresh like fresh fresh cucumbers yeah. like it's a little much it's a little much like the smell is really fresh but obviously it's made with all natural ingredients so clearly they didn't care if it smelled amazing or not i have used it only once and it's so big like this is gonna last me forever and it's like in a little glass jar so they really did a good job with the packaging um they should how much it costs um <laughs> but you know, I just wanted to treat myself and, you know, why not when it comes to your skincare because I will, you know, splurge on skincare if it works. It does work and I'm super excited to keep using this like during the week. So, again, the Fresh Black Tea Instant Perfecting Mask.
Okay, so the very last product I have is a body butter, and this is from Lockaton, Loctane, whatever. <laughs> um, this is the Ultra Rich Body Cream. It says rich in shea butter. This is supposed to be a super intense, really, really thick body butter. And y'all know, like, I'm picky when it comes to, like, my lotions. Like, the only lotion I use is from Nivea, and it's the only, like, drugstore lotion I use, but I love body butter, so... I heard really good things about this one and I heard it's like super super thick especially if you have dry skin like my body is really dry like I have oily skin on my face but my body is like ridiculous so I always have to apply some kind of body butter or lotion as soon as I get out of the shower and this is super thick I've already used it obviously some stuff you just can't wait um this stuff is so thick like this is some serious stuff they're not lying when they say rich shea butter like body cream like it's amazing. It smells exactly like the Nivea like body cream. Like if you've ever smelled the Nivea like cream, not like the lotion, but the actual cream, it smells like mm -hmm. that. But like the formula, like the consistency is so amazing. So I'm super excited to keep using this for like the fall and winter time because in the colder months, my skin is just extra with the dryness. Mm -hmm. So this is going to be really good for that. Yeah, I'm like obsessed with it already. Okay, so that's it for Sephora. I wanted to mention one last thing. This is not from Sephora. This is actually a perfume that I got from Zara. And I had no idea Zara had perfumes. Me and Kendra went in there because she bought a leather jacket and she was checking out. And I was like, oh, I didn't know you guys had perfumes. And it's like five of them, I think. And each one is a different kind of scent. So they have one that's more fruity. Like they oriental have, one. They have an oriental one, which is... Like, like a warm like smell. Like a warm smell. Like the kind of smells Kendra likes. I like that one a and lot. And then they had like a uh, floral smell. So they basically had a perfume that will suit everybody. Obviously I got the fruity one and it just so happened to be green. So I was like this is perfect. So this is the apple juice perfume. I was like that name is so cute. And it's like a mint green color and it smells absolutely. Really oh my gosh it smells so good. It smells like perfumey apple yes that's like the only fruit. way i can describe it so i think this is like a perfect everyday um perfume because it's not like too much and it's not like a body spray it's like the perfect balance and also i really like that these perfumes are really good size and it was only 17 dollars so I was like, that's a really good price for a perfume and it's from Zara. So I was like, okay, I need to get me one of these. So go check out Zara if you've been looking for like a new perfume um, that's inexpensive. You don't want to spend a whole bunch of money on it. So check out Zara. They have really good smell and perfumes. Okay, so that completes this very long haul. We hope that you all are still here. But we know you guys like long videos and haul, so it was like a win-win. Also, in the comments below, you guys let us know if you tried out any of the products that we talked about in this haul and if you like any of them. Also, if you want to see any reviews on anything like um, the Estee Lauder Foundation, let us know if you want us to do that. And like any tutorials, like with Kelsey's Vice Palette start requesting some of that kind of stuff but yeah let us know if you've tried anything out that we mentioned and if you love it or not so yeah so that completes this haul we hope you guys enjoyed this video and we'll see y'all next time bye, bye.